Greetings, I'm Geo Fatboy. I make shaving videos and sell shaving supplies. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving needs. Have a great shave, have a great day. Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. This will be my Christmas or day or two before Christmas shave 2020. This shave will be a response to a request I received on one of my previous YouTube videos and it came from Jack Boy. Jack Boy said, what a pleasure it would be to see you use the razor I list below as you have not reviewed it yet. It is the Parker 92R black handle butterfly TTO or twist to open. My first shave from it and it absolutely knocked my socks off. How aggressive it was. Surprised me for a twist to open. It was similar to my Merker Futur on setting 5 to 6, which is pretty aggressive. Perhaps you will get this aggressive shaver on camera with a colorful Tobbs or GOF Trump or cream. You pick from one of the ones that comes in a colored cream. Your Chubby 3, Shave Nation Ceramic Bowl, and the Shave Nation Alum Stick, of course. Have a great holiday season. Thank you very much for the request, Jack Boy, and I think I'll take you up on that. We'll check out this Parker 92R and we'll see if you nailed it or if you fell shy. Let's see how aggressive it is. So I wish you all a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays 2020. And I promise you next year when I do this shave, things are going to be a lot better. You're going to have a big smile on your face and it won't be covered up by a mask. I promise you that. <laughs> I think we're all going to get through this. Please, we get through it and we move forward. Vaccinations are being rolled out as we speak, so hopefully this thing is on the way out and we can bid it adieu. Adios. First I'll give you a little tour of this razor and give you the specs, and then we'll get right to the shave. Let's do it. Here's a look at the Parker 92R Double Edge Safety Razor. It's a butterfly or twist to open style razor. It's got a highly polished chrome head. Let's work our way down the handle. It has this very industrial or mechanical type look to the handle. It's this polished screw up on top. The screw is not functional, but it adds to the very appealing look of this razor. And then there's the small ring, a polished ring. And then here's the collar that you spin to open and close it. Another polished ring here, a little bit thicker. And then here's the very aggressive type knurling on the handle. It's a diagonal type grip and it's chamfered. It's almost like a 3D, makes it very easy to grip and it feels really comfortable between the thumb and fingers. You should be able to grip this razor even with wet fingers or soapy or shaving cream laden fingers. Should not be a problem. There's a smooth chrome ring down here at the bottom. Let's open it up. To open it, you can either hold the collar and spin the handle or you can hold the handle and spin the collar. I kind of prefer holding the handle and spinning the collar as opposed to seeing the head spin around in a circle like so. If you purchase this razor from Shave Nation, it comes with a five pack of Parker Premium Platinum Stainless Steel Blades and the plastic case right here. Let's install a blade, remove it from the paper, just drop it right over the center post the center rail right there and then we can tighten it back up just spinning clockwise. Here's a look at the blade installed in the razor. You can see that the reveal is perfect on both sides. Nice and even. There is a bit of blade overhang on the outsides but it really overhangs from the butterfly doors not from the base plate of the razor. The plastic five pack of Parker blades has a disposal slot on the back of the case. So when your razor is spent, all you do is insert it into the back of the case for safe and convenient disposal. The specs on this razor, it weighs in at 3.2 ounces or 91 grams. The overall length from top to bottom is 4.3 inches or 110 millimeters. The Parker 92R has been voted best in class razor recently by one of the leading blogs. It has a wonderful balance and its textured handle make it terrific for use with wet and soapy hands. Parker's famous butterfly head 
delivers an excellent shave, both close and comfortable. This is an excellent razor for those new to safety razors or experienced shavers. Razor type, butterfly or twist to open style. Handle material, genuine brass frame, black and chrome handle. Includes a five pack of Parker Premium Blades. The handle is definitely long enough where you can place the bottom of it in your palm and spin very easily while you're shaving. So it's a hefty handle, it's a hefty razor, it's got very nice grip to it, feels great in the hand, and it's also very appealing to the eye. Let's go see how it shaves. All right, I've got some decent beardage here, so we can really see how this razor performs. Let's see if Jack Boy is right on the aggressiveness of the razor. Let's see if he calculated or uh, if he called it properly. So the players in the game will be the 92R, loaded with a Parker blade, as you can see right there. And I'll use the Tobbs Peppermint. Since we're in the Christmas spirit, we're just a few days before Christmas, a couple days before, we'll use this. It's a beautiful, it reminds me of candy canes, this shaving cream. So we'll use that, lather it up in the Shave Nation ceramic bowl, and I'll use the, per request, it'll be the Chubby 2, and then finishing up with the Shave Nation Allen Block Wide Stick, and kind of along the same lines as this Peppermint Tobbs Shaving Cream, we'll go with the aftershave of Refreshing and Toning, the Eucalyptus and Menthol Parasso. We'll finish it out with that. Got my marble cup, I'll fill it with some hot water. Here's the Chubby 2, that's what it looks like when it's dry. Just drop it right into the water. Now it's saturated, you can see that's what it looks like when it's fully saturated. Stays together nicely. It's a dense, tight knot. Let's let that soak. Let's soak the Shave Nation bowl under the hot water. It's stoneware, so it will retain some heat as well. Let's remove the cap from our Tobbs Peppermint. Mm, very light, fresh peppermint scent. Does remind you of the holidays for sure. Got our little mini scoop spoon. I'm gonna scoop a little bit out, just about that much. Drop it right down into the bottom of the lather spot on the Shave Nation bowl, like so. Let's remove the brush from the water. Pour out the water. Just give it a couple shakes to remove the bulk of the water. We'll go right into the bowl and see if we can mix a lather. Very sudsy. I think I'm a little bit heavy on the water this time. <laughs> That's okay though, look at that. Oh my goodness, that bowl filled up in like 10 seconds. I'm just pushing the brush tips down into the lather spot. And as you can see, got a tremendous amount of lather here. It's a bit sudsy, but oh my goodness, it's coming up all over the place. Well, we've got more than enough for several passes here. Look at that. If you like sudsy lather, there you go. It's not real thick and creamy, but it is sudsy. Woo, look at that. It's like an overflow machine. All right, let's set that down. No problem mixing lather. I'll warm up my face with some hot water and we'll get right to the shave. All right, I think my face is hot enough. Let's pick up our bowl and our brush. Tremendous amount of lather here. Look at that. Woo. And we'll lather up. Just starting on the right side, working our way across. Goes on very easily, and the room smells like candy canes right now. Got a very strong peppermint scent. If you like peppermint, if, you, if you're a big fan of the holidays, you'll love this scent. Little figure eight. Just drive that, drive all that lather right into the beard. Soften up those whiskers, elevate them so that they can be shaved off cleanly with your super sharp safety razor blade. Little figure eight, smooth everything out. The infinity maneuver, let's set the brush down. Let's clear the runways so we can see the sideburns. Dry the fingers, temper the razor under the hot water. 
so we don't have cold steel on face. All I can tell you, my face is really tingling right now from this peppermint shaving cream. So we'll start right here at the sideburn, perpendicular, tilt slightly out. Oh yeah, quite aggressive. Wow, look at that. Just a couple strokes. Huh. Jack boy, you're right. Surprisingly aggressive for a uh, twist to open style razor. Right down the neckline. Well, that's sweet. Look at that, one pass. Filled with stubble. Let's rinse that off. Now the left side, just start perpendicular. Tilt the handle slightly outward. Work your way down, cut that sideburn. Got some good audible feedback too, you can hear it working. Right down the neckline. Very nice, look at that. Beautiful. Now the mustache, scoop right under the nose. After one pass, check it out. Nice and smooth. Amazingly smooth for a butterfly style razor. Let's rinse and we'll do one more pass. Pick up our bowl and brush. Plenty of lather left in here. Look at that little ice cream cone. Oh, that's cold. That's cold right there. Peppermint, chilling, cold chilling. On the bare skin without the beardage, you can really feel it. All right, just a thin coating of lather this time, since most of the beard is already gone. Clear the runways one more time. Okay, the first pass was with the grain from north to south. Now I'm gonna go against the grain on the neck. Very nice. Let's rinse that. Now across the grain, from ear to nose. You can hear that. Just make sure it's tight. Seems to me like it wants to loosen a little bit, but crank down on it. There you go. I actually think I had it maybe a quarter screw loose. So if you want to make it even more aggressive, just loosen it up slightly, and that will increase the reveal and make it more aggressive. All right, backhand it. Clean the cleft. Now across the mustache, just with the corner under the nose, and then lay it flat. Wow, very nice. Now we'll do a final rinse, hot water, then cold water. We'll take our Shave Nation Allen block, remove the cap, soak it under the cold water. Just glide that all around the areas you've shaved. Excellent finish to the shave right here. If you got any micro nicks or weepers, this will seal them off. It's an antiseptic, so no problem sealing off your little nicks. Feels good, refreshing, even colder on top of the peppermint shaving cream. Very nice shave. Let that soak in for about 30 seconds and rinse it off. Pat the face dry. Okay, let's crack open our Parasso. Menthol and eucalyptus. A few drops in the fingertips. Right there, not too much. This is a nice balm 
It has a wonderful scent to it. Very cool and refreshing. Oh yeah, feels great. Excellent finish to your shave. This balm will give you an invisible layer of protection throughout the day, which is what you want for Christmas time if you're in any kind of a cold climate. Very refreshing. Feels great. Here's a final look at the razor, the Parker 92R butterfly style or twist to open style razor. Very aggressive knurling on the handle, feels great in the hand, long enough where you can hold the collar and spin it with the bottom of the handle resting firmly in your palm like so. Very comfortable to shave with and surprisingly aggressive for a butterfly style razor. Check it out. I had heavy beard growth. That was a quick two pass shave. Turned out beautiful. Very nice. Love it. The Parker blade performed quite well in this razor. And if you want to crank it up a notch, you can go with a feather, the sharpest blade out there, make it even more aggressive. If you want to use it the way I just did, just loosen it slightly one eighth of a turn and that will increase the blade reveal just a tad and that will make it more aggressive. You could do that for your first pass and then crank it down and finish up with your second and subsequent passes and that will make it a little bit less aggressive. So you can almost turn it into an adjustable type butterfly or twist to open razor by doing that. So I hope that helps you. If you're looking for an aggressive razor, say a step above Merker 34C, DE89, R89, 99R, 22R, this will do it for you. The Parker 92R. It's got a cool look to it. It's very mechanical looking. This razor will probably appeal to most of you gents. It's a cool looking razor. If you want to pick up this razor or any of the other items I used, just click below where it says show more and you can grab them right there or go to shavenation.com, enter what you need in the search box, it'll pop right up. Before I head out, please click that subscribe button down there and then click the bell up there and then click all so you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. They'll go right to your inbox and you won't miss any. Thank you very much for watching. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh-oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shave, have a great day.